So, Mr. Luca, welcome back. I'm happy to have you here again. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. The long-awaited road <laughs> update. I guess let's jump right into it. So, can you fill us in? What's going on with the road? Well, this is a very long, it has been a very long process and it's very complicated to understand, even for us that we are, let's say, a bit into that. And, you know, the, the difficult thing to understand is this has been a, a, a process that, that on the administration point of view, it has been very disorganized and Part of the reason is because this, the, the way they are managing this project is a bit different of what the government normally do. Now, why is that? Why is this project so different and so complicated? Because normally the government, they have two ways of administration projects. It's one is under a concession where they give the project to a private company. Okay. And, and the other one is that when they do it by themselves because they have the machinery and they have the administration and all that. In this project, they were using a new formula and it's, and it's, we are the first ones with that formula, which is a, so this is a pilot project. Exactly. Essentially. Well, that's not good. Exactly. So it can be good, but in this case is, you know, what this is, this is what we have. And, and so they started this process on a different way of administration project and there is the government involved and three other private companies so it's a mix of the government with the private companies and i think from the beginning it was not completely clear how to start with all the procedures Mm -hmm. and and all the administration of of the project with that i got you that makes sense uh -huh. so is the is the reason the project has so many starts and stops and hiccups because of the integration between the public and the private factor see but this is more because of the way that they did the contracts in the in in the con they have contracts with the private um, companies, mm -hmm. so the the problem are not the private companies. The problem is the administration of the government, because in in some of the contracts things were not clear, and that was cutting the flow of the of the process. You know there are different stages on the project. And those stages, they need a flow. It has to start with something. Behind that has to come another. And that was like creating all this. They stop it because the it. things were not clear. And that was, uh, you know, it's, it will be very hard to say the whole story on that. And the short version, though, is the, the, the private side's doing fine mm -hmm. and holding up their end of the bargain. The issue is the governmental side and their regulations and the paperwork and all of that stuff along the way. That has been, that has been the problem. And on the public administration on Costa Rica, those paperwork to change something in a contract, it's very complex. It has to go through three or four different departments and approvals. And, and there, you know, it's, it can be delayed only because a little thing in a contract, it can be delayed for months. And that is what happened here. Recently, we heard the road's not happening. They misallocated the funds and there was a procedural, just like you're describing, some mm -hmm. sort of mix up. Mm -hmm. Where are we at today? No, the project, um, the project is on, on paper, let's say that way. So it's thumbs up. Yes. So we are getting the road. Yes. That's what they're saying. Yes. And the last months, there was a problem with one of those contracts. You know that they are, they are, uh, they put the base, the, the first shape they put on the road, that is the soup base. Mm -hmm. And now they have to put the base of the, um, of that material that is a bit more fine and then on top of that they put the asphalt and in that that contract is with a private company and in the contract of that private company they didn't include 
a sealer. It's called like a sealer. It's like a protection before they put the asphalt. Okay. So for the last three months, they are figure, figuring out how to how to fix that in the contract so that that company can start again. Did they decide to go back and fix this because of the pressure from the Route 160 committee? And or, in, or were they just like, in, oh, sorry about that? Mm, no, in part, in part, yes. But yes, you know, at the end, it's like they say, sorry about that. But, you know, it's obvious that that was very bad. Oh, gosh. Orga- For- very bad organized to just forget something in a contract. You know, it's like... And that was, you know, that was uh, stopping the flow of the project because this company, they cannot put the the base if they don't have that sealer. If they put that base, everything will get damaged as, as we have the damages with this shape that they put now. So they have to wait to fix that. So when that company comes and it installs the base, that behind that, immediately they put that sealer to protect that, for the that makes sense. So mm. basically we had to go find the money for this very important missing component of the whole project mm. and then redo the budget. And then mm-hmm. I guess no, you have to it, get it reapproved. And it's not a, it's, it's not a question of, of budget. They have the money. They have the money. It's just an, an administration thing. It's something that you have to change in a contract and it has a big process. The process is it has to, it has to go through four different departments in Konavi. And that's a little frustrating to hear yes, because yes, they've messed it up so many times before. Uh-huh. And now you're saying it wasn't a budget issue. It literally was just an administration issue. Yes. And they should go tell that to all the kids at the Esperanza school, just getting hammered with dust every mm-hmm. day. And it's, and, and it's very frustrating for everybody and also for us to hear those kind of things because it's like, and then at the same time, it's very difficult because, you know, we hear, we get a lot of comments. Why don't you do more pressure? Let's organize as a community mm-hmm. and let's make a manifestation or, you know, take it on a, on a higher level. Mm-hmm. And, but how can you take it to a higher level if every time that we have a meeting, they say that it's on process. They have never said that this is, um, that the project is completely in abandon. Manifest- so closing down the road or having a strike or a protest or something. You're no, saying because, that wouldn't no, because then they will come. Look, it's, this is in process. We have, they will say, and they are saying that we have difficulties, but here are the papers that we have to go through. And it's just a matter of time. And that is, you know, we wait and we wait and we wait. And so, and it's very hard to change that. What they say at this point, because right now they presented that ad- addenda, uh, addendum, ad- addendum. Mm-hmm. That was presented last week and it will, you know, just to do the paper, they, it took a few months. And now that they presented that on the first department, it will take, they say it will take from one to three months. But in the worst case, they say it can take six months. So uh, mm-hmm. let me try to say this back to you just real quick. So the short version is the project is back on, but we're now into that reapproval stage of mm-hmm. one to three months, if we're lucky, but mm-hmm. it could be six months. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yes. that puts us essentially with a moderate amount of luck early this high season, mm-hmm. they start the, they start the work. Is that sound right? They said, they said that they will start, they are taking the scenario of three months and they said probably they will restart again in October, but you know, October, we have this very heavy rain. Yeah, rains. So maybe when October comes, they will say, no, now it's raining too much. So <laughs> you never then know. Then in November, it'll be too You windy. never know what to expect. It's really, it's like, and, and then it comes one other thing. And everything is legally on papers. That's, that's the thing. And everybody can have access. We have all those papers. Everybody can have access to those papers. How to change that? We sometimes ask, okay, what can we do as a community? Mm -hmm. And what they say, okay, what you can do is, you know, if you have people that can follow the process in, in their departments, 
with a lawyer or do we have that we we could we could hire someone from san jose would it be expensive or how much would that cost rather That's no a not question. actually actually we are thinking of uh, from a from from a local person we got we got the contact with with uh, their layers uh, lawyers to to work on that they said that they can put their lawyers to work on that from san jose so that's that's an that's an option that we can that we can use seems like a pretty good idea as long as See? it's not crazy expensive what we, they we have need to, to it's a it's a person that has to go to the department and say okay where is where is this document who has to approve mm -hmm. it how much time legally that department has to approve it because they have limits in the government limits we should of, do that and uh, publish it and like yes, post it and hold yes, them accountable yes. so this doesn't happen again we have the documents it's three documents that were presented that are missing in 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 the process mm -hmm. and with those three documents if they get approved it they will restart again well they will restart putting that part of the you know the the base then to put the sealer and then to put the asphalt but mm -hmm. if you see the project is not completely stopped they are working on the on the cunetas on mm -hmm. the side uh, trenches like the gutters on for exactly drainage over on the side they are working on that and doing some other minor things so they are people working on this as you d described earlier is that a separate private company doing that yes or is that a, okay yes so that's why that one's still going because it's yes, private they're, and they're, they're doing a good yes job. as you see some of the contracts are right and the people are working some of the other contracts, and that's the problem that there are three three different contracts with three different companies and some of them are not right so that's that's making everything a bit complicated i think anyone listening to this is probably not surprised. Mm, no. <laughs> so, and so when, when people ask us, uh, how is the process? What to expect and all that, you know, I cannot, I, I cannot say any date anymore because <laughs> we had so many dates. You know, this started in 2006. We started just with the, with the meetings and all that. And then the project started in 2017. And in 2017, they, they said this will take one year. So that was last year. So now they have one year of delay. You know, they say, but they are also not, they are not putting like fixed dates because they are not also not completely sure what can appear. They are also conscious of that. It seemed like when the government changed a little while back, that that's was. when... That was a crushing blow for us. That was one of the things. Okay, so now mm -hmm. the government side has come back and said, okay, sorry about that, no sorry. Mm -hmm. We're going to come through after all. And that's where we're at today. Mm -hmm. What's next that could block us? There's no government election happening real soon. They've already said yes and then no and then yes. Like what's going to screw this up next time is what I'm asking. Like what, what's going to mess this up? Maybe it can have a delay now that the heavy rainy season is coming and they are supposed to start again like September, October on that on that part. They will continue doing the work that they are doing with the other companies. But one of the delays can be they can say, no, it's raining too much and this will get damaged. And that but that, be, that would only be if they actually did the paperwork in three months. Which yes. I don't yes. think you or I are holding our breath about that. No, we are not sure about that. And, and on the legal, on the legal part, I really don't know what to expect because this has been happening so many times. You know, you expect that everything is clear. And now that they, now that they said that those three documents or those three contracts were missing and they said sorry. And now they presented that. So if they know that that was the one that we're missing, so now what, what more? We don't know. Okay. Don't all know. right. So, all right. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So thank you for the explanation. Mm -hmm. If I could offer any insight, and I'm guessing a couple of people listening to this would feel the same way. Let's, let's get that attorney to follow the process. Yes. And why don't we post it? We can post it live just mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this same thing doesn't happen again. Cause last time, we all got excited it was happening and everything was seemed so solid. Mm -hmm. So many people had quoted dates and timeframes and all of these things. Mm -hmm. And 
it was really bad. Like this year's dust was worse than ever because yes. of the road work that they mm. never finished. Mm-hmm. We were better off prior to them doing what they did. Jeez. So when you and I talked in the past, it was, they're not going to do the road, but they'll continue ma- maintaining it. Well, the road was in horrible shape this year. And again, I don't know what the, the name of the material on top is, but that white, it was like white this year because they, they did like a sub base kind mm-hmm. of thing. That was horrible dust wise. So for the schools, mm-hmm. the houses, it was a mess. Like we flew drones around the community and you can just see dust like just flying off of the road. Part of the the people that work here, they, they know that. And it's it's amazing that they cannot react to all that in the in the dry season they they promise to to water it more at least once a day but that's that, that was not happening and even if you do that works for a couple mm-hmm. hours mm-hmm. they if they put it like twice a day in the morning and well, in the afternoon that's a little different twice a day but consistently doing that every day so no no it's a, it's it's very it's very very difficult. The only way of doing this is doing that the whole work fast and that's Yeah, they either need to do it was. or let it go back to the way it was cuz we actually mm-hmm. had less dust before. Because because in 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 some periods they have been working very fast. They did they did that part from Esperanza to to Garza. <laughs> In about two weeks, they put the whole thing. That means mm. that they could have done the whole base and all that in about two or three months. So it's, <laughs> you know, it's for us, you know, we are on the same position of everyone. It's like, and, 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 and it's, it's more, it's worse because we know that, that everything is there, but the things doesn't happen and it's so difficult to do, to, to do something. It's like, it's, it's, it's amazing. Well, it's, again, thanks to you guys mm-hmm. on the route to 160 committee, because we, I <clears> doubt <throat> if you guys weren't there pounding on the door and mm-hmm. yelling, Hey, you can't just have an election. And then all of a sudden this is forgotten about. And that's mm-hmm. exactly what they had told you mm-hmm. for you to stay on them. Uh, just thank you. Uh, from the community mm-hmm. to you guys, just just thank you, thank you. And you know we have uh, we have meetings. We have a meeting once a month with the director of the of the project, and they we get like all the new information that they have about how the process is going, and we can also ask questions. Sometimes we are like really yelling to them and mm-hmm. they're, because that's also an, if someone wants to come to, to those meeting, anybody can just ask me and they can come there. And that's great. Okay. So that notes. is open. Yes. That's open. You know, the, the voice of Nosara, they have been informed of all that. We are a committee that integrates the locals, Guiones, Cookies is there, Marcos Avila from the association in Osara is there. I'm Shout out there. to all those folks. And yeah, so, so it's, we have a very good, um, you know, it's everybody is involved in that from each part of, of the whole community and everybody is welcome to come to those of and ask the question that they want and get informed and help you know it's so how does the committee feel do does anyone on the committee still think the road's not going to happen or oh, do you yes. guys all think it's going to happen we know uh, it's going to happen because the process is so advanced they have invested already so much money and effort so if they really say no we will not do it then we will go to the we will really go to the streets and and block whatever we have to block if they really if if they if it comes to a point that is really blocked okay but that never has has been the uh, the case so <clears throat> we don't need to go to that stage and everybody some people wants to go to that stage mm-hmm. but the process is there it's very slow we are very conscious of that and it's very frustrating it is very slow, but the process is still on on track. So when people ask me how the process is, I say, look, it's coming, it's on process, but is as you have seen is. So it will not, the speed will not change. Okay. Uh, we have to be very sure of that. The speed will not change and we have to be very patient. And And for most of the people, they don't believe it because... 
I live here for 15 years. And since that, I have heard about paving the road, paving the road for 15 years. So now like one more year for, for people just to wait one more year. It's, it's, it's nothing. And they don't, they don't believe it because they have heard that so many times. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of on that. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate the maybe, update. Maybe um, I can, you know, I, I'm a bit more believer than, than you because, right? because I know that the papers are there and, and, and it's a legal process that is very complicated. And I know the papers and the money and everything is there. But it's 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 very slow. Yes. Okay. Well, hey, this was super <laughs> informative, very helpful. I'm glad we waited on our this podcast because if we'd have done it 30 days ago, then mm -hmm. it would have been people would have been calling for protests and go mm -hmm. out in the street mm -hmm. and do all the type of stuff. And you're saying clearly now that's not going to solve it. We are going to get the road, mm -hmm. but we just have to wait for the procedural part to unfold. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at now, right? We have those th those three documents that were presented last week. We have copy of that and we have to wait that that comes out. And when that comes out, they will restart. And if they restart, it's not so much that they need too much to be done. They they did a very big part of it's the It's just project. the one to three months that you quoted, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I think will be six to nine if we're lucky. And even that mm -hmm. I would take it. Mm -hmm. Like if they if they came and said, hey, we'll have this done. <laughs> Just just processing in 12 months, I might believe it. One to three months off of this. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's. I one don't to, know, man. It's just it it's just, one to one to three months to approve those papers right. and then to the start work. to start again because now they stop it. You know, it's three months of. of yeah, I'd say what of nothing, and that's a that's a that's a big time. That's it not was. good for the for the maintenance. It's not, and also mm. May, May early June. That was the worst the road, maybe mm. ever has been. Mm -hmm. It was crazy because this material doesn't hold well the and the rain the the water. It just it just goes, and it's amazing. We had like one that week that we had of of rain. Mm -hmm. It was so damaged, and you know what the problem is that during that rain they cannot fix it. If they put the machinery when it's like that, like raining, they will do just uh, I don't know how to call that. <laughs> well, that's why I was saying I, I wish they, they have to wait. never did anything uh, or do everything, one mm, or the other. But don't they, leave us in the middle. They have to wait when after it rains a lot. They have to wait still till it gets dry to fix it mm. and so when it rains a lot they cannot fix it well it's we're in the middle of the rainy season problem. now so yes. we'll see how it goes either way thanks for coming in okay awesome update um i really hope we're not sitting here together in 90 days are with a different answer I, I i hope that we're on track this time and again thank you for all your work um and the whole route to 160 committee thank you for the opportunity you yeah. know